Hi everyone, my name is Liz Brassoff from Thrust Flight. I'm one of the chief flight instructors here and I'm also a first officer at a regional airline. Today we're going to talk a little bit about discovery flights, what happens, and why you should take one. So a discovery flight is a very first introduction to flying and flight training at a school. You might also hear it called an introductory flight, but discovery flight, introductory flight, it's the same thing. So pretty much every school in the United States offers them. Usually it's a flight that goes for about an hour long with an instructor, and the instructor kind of shows you what training would be like, what the school is like, they might tour the facilities with you, and usually it's sold at a discounted rate to kind of uh, reduce some of those barriers to getting started in flight training. The schools want you to choose them for flight training. So this is kind of their last step to say, hey, we really want to train you, you should choose us and let you compare apples to apples or what is an actual flying experience at this school like compared to an actual flying experience at this other school. So typically what happens is you'll meet your instructor maybe in the reception area of the school or in the lobby area and they will talk a little bit about where you're flying that day, what they're gonna do in the airplane and some of the things to expect if you've never been in a small airplane before. So they could talk about motion sickness and if uh, they think it's gonna be a day that might lead to that or not, and they talk about um, safety procedures for the aircraft and when they'll be talking, maybe a hand signal that they'll use if they need you to stop talking so they could listen to the radio, things like that. They'll issue you a headset for your flight um, so that you can hear them through the radios and be able to also hear the air traffic controller and any other equipment you might need for the flight at that school. So then you and your instructor will proceed out to the aircraft. They might show you a short walk around the airplane. Typically they don't do an entire pre-flight inspection with you because that can take quite a few uh, minutes to teach you from scratch. So usually it's a little bit more of an abbreviated walk around. The instructor has already surveyed the aircraft and made sure it was prepared for your flight. You guys will get in the airplane together. Typically they have to give you a little instruction on how to use the seatbelt, maybe how to operate the door especially to be able to exit when you're done with your flight. And then you'll begin. Uh, the instructor will start the aircraft, will taxi out. They might have you try your controls on the ground a little bit. Can you steer it? Here's how we control the speed that the aircraft is moving um, and uh, progress to taking off and being airborne. The best part, right? So on a discovery flight, it's typically your first introduction to an aircraft at this school or maybe period. You've never flown in a small airplane. So the instructor performs the takeoff and the landing and after they have the aircraft smoothed out, kind of steady in cruise flight, they would hand you the controls and let you test the waters at actually flying and controlling an airplane. The instructor might also have you try a radio call or two, uh, encourage you to take pictures, not when you're flying of course, when they've got the flight controls, and be an enjoyable experience overall. Flight training is very different than riding in a commercial aircraft as a passenger. So we wanna show you what it's like being the one in charge of controlling the movements of that aircraft and flying on a small airplane because it's so different than flying in an Airbus or you know, Boeing 737. The other things that would occur on this flight if you've already done some flight training is maybe they'll see where you're at in this aircraft or highlight some of the differences in this aircraft compared to an aircraft you've been training in. A discovery flight is a great tool whether you're shopping as a new student trying to decide if you want to do flight training or if you're an experienced student you maybe already have a couple of hours or even already hold your very first pilot's license. It could help you choose between schools because now you know what it'd actually be like working with their instructors not just meeting their administrative staff, what their fleet is actually like um, flying it, operating it instead of, hey, I just think I want to choose this type of airplane, uh, even if it's different than what you've flown before. After you get back on the ground, the instructor typically takes your picture, asks you if you've got any other questions about the flight training process, about what you did in the air that day, or about training with them. The other thing you should do is ask for their contact information. Maybe you'll find, compared to the other discovery flights you took, that you really enjoy training with this instructor and want to continue working with them as your primary teacher or instructor during your flight training. So you'd want to have a way to contact them or you want to have their first and last name so you could request them with the flight school as they enroll you in their training program. 
So that was a little bit about what happens on a Discovery flight. Now let's talk about why you should take one. One of the biggest reasons is you want to get the most authentic experience you can at a flight school before deciding to train with them. Most schools have a salesperson of some sort or some administrative staff that you'd be primarily talking to before you begin your flight training. And they want to encourage you to train with them. They also aren't the ones actually flying the airplane usually. So you learn a lot more about the school and get a lot more detail from the instructors that you'd actually be working with. Or maybe you'll find that there's some personalities of instructors that you work with in your Discovery flights that match better or worse with your learning style. So it really can help you get an authentic feel for the school and for what their operations and what lessons there would actually feel like. Another reason you want to do a Discovery flight is if you are just starting from zero, this can really help you decide if you want to continue on this path or not. Unfortunately, flight training is not cheap. And so you wanna be sure about it before you spend too much money going down that road. And a discovery flight is a really great way to do that. It can tell you if you enjoy the sensation of flight and being the one in charge of commanding that aircraft's movements, or if maybe that makes you a little anxious and you actually would enjoy doing something else related to aviation or a different path other than being the pilot of the aircraft. So it can really help you know, how much do I enjoy this? Is it meeting the needs and um, fulfilling the desire I have with my career path or hobby path it doesn't have to be for a career uh, or is there something that might be better suited to what I'm looking for one more reason you might want to take a discovery flight is to learn more about the area you'd be training in remember we talked about how discovery flight is beneficial even if you've already been training a little bit have a few hours under your belt maybe you've even soloed or perhaps you've already even passed your private pilot check ride you're moving on to further ratings and training it would help you know, is this the airport I wanna be training out of? If you live in a large um, city area, like we're training in Dallas here, there's multiple schools at different airports to choose from and they're all within driving distance. And so having a discovery flight or a flight lesson at each one of these schools might help me know, hey, you know, I really don't like the traffic on the way to that one. I'm not gonna be very encouraged to go do my lessons. Or in the air, this one is really busy, it stresses me out during my lesson, I don't think that's where I wanna train compared to this calmer airport that's the same driving distance from my home. Or kinda of help you weigh some of those other factors because each training environment can vary a little bit. Even as a student with zero hours, you might find that you like one training environment or airport area more than another. So it's something that you can really get a feel for as you take that discovery flight and help inform your decision on where to train, school-wise, airport-wise, and if you wanna train. Well, I hope that encourages you to take a discovery flight and tells you a little bit more about what to expect on that very first lesson. If you've taken a discovery flight, let us know how it went in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.